Let's talk about tracking system, for example. We have one axis and two axis tracking systems. We can see it on the lower part, lower right part of the picture. The left part of that picture is single axis, meaning east to left, east to west tracking. East to west because I really want to track the sun. As the sun rises, I will look at it. I will catch the beams, even in 7 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, I will actually look at it and the beams will hit 90 degrees. They will hit the panels. The, the, the beams will be perpendicular to the panels. And as the sun moves, the tracking system moves with it from east to west. Not just having a passive stainless steel um, uh, fixed position, where in the morning the angle is very, very low, and in the evening the angle is very, very low. But I follow the sun path. It's like I'm looking at it all the time toward its center, making sure that the beams will be perpendicular to the panel. This is where I'm sure that I'll get most of the energy. And if I'm using CPV cells, I'm ensuring much higher efficiency. So from a given area, of PV system, using tracking in CPV, I get the maximum amount of energy available today in a photovoltaic industry. The right section of that lower uh, picture has two axis tracking system. East and West, we saw it on the left part, and North and South. Now, north and south is because of sun declinations. We will talk about declinations in a minute, but, it, but the sun, based on season, goes up or goes down. So if I'm looking at the sun in the middle of the winter at 12 o'clock noon, the sun will be very low. If in the summer, 12 o'clock noon, I will look at the sun, the sun will be much higher. So the movement of the sun from high in the sky in noontime summer until low in the sky in noontime winter, that calls declination. And that means that if I really want additional precision in the reception of the energy coming from the sun, I will do a two axis tracking north south and east west. Both of these axes assure that I will look at any given day, at any given hour of a day, I will look exactly toward the center of the sun. I will make sure, this makes sure, that the energy is maximum. On the left, bo the left bottom corner, we see a very interesting graph. The gray area of the graph is a fixed position PV system. A system that is fixed, no matter where the sun is, it's facing down. It's facing the south, I'm sorry, it's facing south, but the sun moves. At noontime, the sun is up in the sky, but morning and evening, the, side, the sun is on the sides. The angles are low. So the energy is basically like a curve. We will talk about it in a minute, but it's a fixed system. The blue area is the contribution of the tracking. And the reason that it's much wider, it's much more squared, it's kind of a rectangular shape graph. The reason it's in this shape is because, like we said before, seven o'clock in the morning, I look at the sun, the, beam are the beams are perpendicular to the panel, and I follow the sun, I track its path. So I kind of simulate noon. We simulate noon even in 7 o'clock in the morning and 6 o'clock in the evening. So I get energy on both sides of the scale. This is why we get a close to rectangular area. So the blue area is the additional contribution because of the traffic. Because of the tracking, I'm sorry. Now, the picture on the top right 
is a is a picture taken from the rear, from taking from the back, um, displaying, demonstrating a principal operation of the north-south tracking. We will talk, we will see other examples of uh, tracking systems that have two uh, two direction, two uh, degrees of freedom. I'm sorry, two degrees of freedom, having left and right and up-down tracking using two motors. One motor responsible for this axis, another, the second motor responsible for the other axis, and they both, they both working simultaneously based on a well-known program because we know where the sun is going to be every single day and every single minute of the year. We can tell exactly where the sun is going to be six and a half hours from now of today. So I will turn the motors, the XY motors, I will turn them to a position where they will look at the sun at that particular moment. And both of the motors will work continuously because the sun moves continuously. There's a, it generates a problem, a couple of problems. First of all, the motors working non-stop. It's not a very good tracking system where the motors working non-stop. Reliability. Motors will break down. That's number one. Number two, when the tracking system, when the panels always look at the center of the sun and the beams are perpendicular to the panels, they get hit. The maximum. The temperature rises. The temperature rises, efficiency goes down. So although I gain some energy, the blue area of the graph, I gain some energy because of the, tra the tracking, I lose some energy because it gets hit. So there's a plus, pluses and minuses, advantages and disadvantages to tracking systems. Now we're looking at the bigger applications, PV tracking farms. On the bottom part, we see a single axis tracking. PV arrays, they lay down one aside, one aside to the other in a very, very ex fixed XY matrix, and they just go north and south. Keep in mind, the north and south Y axis tracking contributes about 5% additional power. Tracking east-west contributes about 25, five times more the north-south. So east-west is much more effective cost-wise than both axes. If we take out the costing, we take out the economical aspect, and we need just power, we will go to excess. If costing gets into the picture as kind of uh, uh, a parameter which, which you, you consider whether to do it or not to do it, if costing, we will go single side, single axis. Look at the left picture. It's a farm, it's a small farm. And if you notice the position of each array in conjunction with the other's array, Please note, they are not one after the other. They are kind of, there's an offset between the first row and the second row, and between the second row and the third row, there's an offset. They are not X, Y coordinate metrics, zero degrees and 90 degrees. And the reason is shading. We will have a, a very, very thorough lecture regarding the effect of shading. But because tracking system follow the sun, the shades, the shadows, much longer. Please keep in mind, 7 o'clock in the morning, sun just rised. I look at the sun, and if I am an array in the front row, the length of the shadow will be very, very long because it's early in the morning. So the shade will affect the array which is behind me. If I am in the first row, I will basically kill all the arrays behind me. Same idea 
in the evening, but on the other side. When the sun sets, the shadow is very long, so I have to really, really, really place, locate the back array further away in order not, so it not to get the shadow. Shadow kills the power. We will talk about it in depth later. But the reason I'm doing it here, presenting it here, not in an XY classical format, is because the shadows in the morning and in the evening. The farm on the top right, they are X and Y. But the angle is a very, very uh, high angle. Look at the angle of the arrays. The shadow is shorter as the angle goes up. So in colder and more northern places on Earth, we can do XY classical matrix of tracking systems because the angle of the arrays is higher because we are in the north. Notice that uh, this farm is in no green area. That means in a site analysis that was done previously before designing this particular farm, in a site analysis, we calculated the amount of dust and dirt in the area. And this is a very windy area. Very windy area that over the years cleans the ground from dust. This is a very, very hard soil. No dust is coming no matter how much wind there. Dust, uh, I'm sorry, wind keeps the temperature, the surface temperature of the panels low. Keeps it low, the efficiency goes high. Efficiency, efficiency goes high, more power. So again, arrays which are in the desert gain a lot of power because clear sun. If it's a windy area, no dust. If it's in the north, high angle, shorter shadows, no losses of power, longer hours of the day, 7 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the evening, will be the same thing as 12 o'clock noon. Shadows will not go on the back arrays to destroy their panel, keeping the power at its maximum. 